hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to download and install body linux on your virtualbox for those that don't know virtualbox virtualbox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer you can run windows 11 windows 10 mac os and many other operating systems virtually on your computer now the first thing we have to download is virtualbox so head to your chrome browser and then search for virtualbox now click on oracle vm virtualbox over here and by the left click on downloads so you can see virtualbox for windows host mac os and many other operating systems so click on windows host and you should start downloading now i already have this installed so i'm just going to cancel the installation method is just like every other software i made a video on how to install virtualbox so if you find it difficult check the description of this video and that should help you out now the next thing we have to download is body linux iso file so open a new tab and then search for body linux so you can see the first page over here which heads to bodylinux.com click on it let's open this full and then by the right you can see download and then you can see the standard release you can see hwe release app pack and many other stuff there so just click on download under the standard release over here and it should take you to this page this is just a general download page now click on download again over here under standard release click on download and it should start downloading i already have this downloaded as well so i'm just going to cancel it but make sure you download it and then install virtualbox so after installing virtualbox and downloading body linux iso file we can close our browser and then open our download folder so you can see this is our body linux iso file this is the latest version as at this moment so open your virtual box and then click on new up here to create a new virtual machine now let's call this body linux now make sure you select linux as the type and then the version selects linux 2.6 slash 3x 4x 5x 64 bits because this is a 64-bit version go to the hardware section and then set the amount of ram you want to allocate to this machine now you shouldn't give more than 40 percent of your ram to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer so i have 16 gigabytes of ram in my pc so i'm going to give it 6 gigabytes since 16 gig is actually a lot and for the processor cores i'm giving it 3 since i can run up to 8 remember don't give over 40 percent else you won't be able to use the machine now go to the hardware section and then set the amount of storage you want to allocate to your virtual machine so anything above 30 gig is okay but i'm going to give it 55 gigabytes and then click on finish now we've successfully created a new virtual machine now we have to make few changes to this machine so click on settings up here now click on display and then set the video memory to 128 megabytes enable 3d acceleration down here and then go to storage click on the empty disks over here under controller IDE by the right click on this disk icon click on choose a disk file and then select the ISO file for body linux we downloaded earlier so I'm just going to click on it click on open and we've successfully added the ISO file now go to USB section and then switch to USB 3.0 I think everything is set if you want to adjust the RAM you can just go to system adjust the RAM go to processor over here adjust the processor as well it all depends on your PC hardware and how much resources you want to allocate to your virtual machine. Now click on OK and then let's click on Start. Now scroll down to Install Now. If you leave it this way, it is going to boot into the live environment of Body Linux, which isn't really what we want. So scroll down to Install Now and hit Enter. now this is the installation page so select your language and then continue select your keyboard layout as well and continue so we don't really want to download updates while installing so let's just continue go with this option to erase the disks and install body linux so continue click on install now and it should initiate the installation process now continue set your region 
your time zone and then continue now set the name you want your machine to be and also a password you want to use to access your machine now if you want to log in automatically without password you just take this but that's not really ideal so let's just use our password to log in continue this is actually installing it may take about 5 to 20 minutes depending on your pc hardware but you just have to wait and the installation is done this took around five minutes that's actually fast now click on restart now so we've successfully installed body linux now you don't really need to remove the installation media because it has been removed automatically so if you open our virtual box and then go to settings go to storage you can see that the installation disk is now empty because it was removed automatically by the os so just hit enter now log in with your password hit enter so basically this is how to install body linux on your windows machine with the help of virtualbox now you can see it is not really showing full screen so you may want to change the resolution so just left click on your screen and then go to and then go to settings open the settings panel now just click by the right over here just navigate among these options till you get to your preferences so this is preferences now click on monitor settings and then you can see a layer over here right click on virtual one and then you can change the resolution from here so just confirm your pc resolution and change it to be the same with your pc resolution and then click on this tick button to apply the resolution and i think that's actually all so you just have to check the correct resolution of your pc and then change it from here to that resolution it has almost everything so this should work if this was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.